Welcome back guys to another episode and in today's video I'm doing a thorough review of our new drone which I've been using for a month now <coughs> I'm sure if you follow my channel you you would have seen a video where I've, I was unboxing the new Hoover X1 drone camera this is the camera I've been using for the past I think it's almost a month now I've been joking with it and I'm sure you've seen the videos that I've posted uh, previously where I've been joking I've been using this camera for a month it's a very small camera it fits on the palm of my hand yeah it has different modes which you can use to fly but this is a brilliant commander it has it, its pros and cons which we are going to go into in this review in this thorough review uh, it has so it's an it's an it's a self flying drone camera which means you don't need a remote control you don't need a phone to control it although it does work uh, with your phone when you download the app you can download the app and then you can use the phone to control it but that's not a, a must <coughs> you can still use that the, the camera without downloading the app or, or without using your phone <coughs> So it has like six modes where it's just mode number one it just hovers and then mode number two it zooms out and then it zooms back in and then mode number three it it follows you where it's in the back and then when you walk it follows you when you change position it, it follows you right and then you have a 360 degree right and then you have a, a bird's eye where it goes up straight in the air takes a bird's eye of your location and then it comes back down and then on the last one you can do a setting whichever setting you want to put in but i've put in a program in that totally uh, dolly mode where it 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 follows you it moves back and forth it, it takes the the front view of 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 you so let's try and do the first the first mode first you turn it on right when you turn it on it it, it shows a green light like this one that shows that it's on and then you can use the small you can use the small button here to change the mode right now it's on hover mode so when you press then you press the setup button and then it moves as you can see it's not moving you see it just follows me around this is the hover mode it stands still it's turning around how do you see that it's recording it has a red light when it's recording it has a red light and then when you want it to stop recording you put your hand underneath it it senses your hand and it lands right that's the first mode let's try and do the second mode The second mode is the horizontal limit move back. The second mode it's going to go back up and then it's going to come back down. You see it goes way up. Okay, it didn't come down because it got stuck in the tree. Ok, 
Okay, there were some trees. I'm back from fetching it. There were some trees. Let's try this again. It actually crashed. That's that's another thing that bad about it that I'm going to mention once. Right now I'm just doing the good stuff about it. But I'll also mention the bad. Ooh, that was close. And that's done. And then the next mode is going to be it's, the next mode is where it follows you around, right? When you move, you see, it follows you around. From behind, and then yeah, and then there is a three sixty degree. And then the three 360 degrees, it moves back and then it rotates. Let's hope it doesn't hit the tree. Oh. As you can see, it's done with the 360. Okay, and then there's the bird's eye. Let's do the bird's eye. It's gonna go straight up and then it's going to come back down. Oh, I can feel the wind of the propellers. They blow really powerfully. And then it comes back down. And then we have the dolly where it it's going to take the front view as you can see if I move back it comes closer if I move forward it moves back if I move sideways and then it's gonna come back and the camera quality on this on this drone is really good guys for a drone its size the camera is really good if you want if you want to, to stop, maybe there's something wrong with the, with the drone and you need to stop it immediately, uh, you can just, uh, okay, let me try moving back. You grab it and you put it upside down and then it, it just stops. It just stops flying, it, it stops all the propellers. So yeah, those are the what six modes yeah six modes which i usually use which that drone usually comes standard with uh, the camera is really good on this it's a high quality camera 
it's really good now I've mentioned all the good stuff about this drone now let's go through the bad stuff I think the battery uh, it lasts about 10 minutes the battery the battery lasts about 10 minutes that's I think uh, the time is it, 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 it's a bit short The, the time is a bit short I, I think it would be better maybe if the battery was like 20 minutes max or maybe even 15 minutes would have been better because I sometimes jog for like 30 minutes to, to 40 minutes to even an hour but it does they do give you two batteries so one battery so if you have two batteries, it, it, you can film up to 20 minutes with the drone, at least you have two batteries. But it would be better if it was two batteries that last maybe 20 minutes, then it would be 40 minutes. That's the disadvantage which I think it has, a short time, a short lifetime battery. Another thing is that it doesn't have sensors, you know, if it's, if it's flying, if it's flying like you're doing a dolly, it's filming you from from the front and it goes and hits the wall. It cannot sense the wall. So I think it would have been better if maybe they have one center here in the back to, to, to sensor stuff that's around it and maybe a couple of sensors in the camera to, to sense the, the obstructions in the front because it, it tends to crash a lot if, if you are doing a dolly or even if you are running with it and it's following you because the camera doesn't have sensors so it sometimes just hits on trees it gets it just, just right now I was testing it and I was doing the, the, second, the second mode it got stuck on the tree there I'm sure you saw that and then it just came down I had to go and fetch it because it has no sensors besides that I think it's a really good drone it's a really good camera for those who like to do vlogging for those who like to do sports running biking because it can also follow a bike yeah so if you enjoy my review what did I leave out uh, I don't think I've left anything out about the drone as you've seen me use it if you want to know what's in the box with it uh, you can check out my other video where I unbox it the day it, it arrived I started unboxing it but just there's a charging cable there are two batteries there's a charger and then there's the drone and then there's like uh, a packet where you can put it in as you can see it can fit in my pocket and you can't even see that it's in there so yeah it's a pretty nice camera to have anyway that's the review guys if you like my review and you want to get yourself one of these you can just click the link below it will take you to Amazon where I got it and yeah they take about a week or two because I'm in SA so it took about a week or two for them to deliver to, to for it to get here anyway I'm happy I'm happy with the with the camera thank you for tuning in I'm digressing now <laughs> thank you for tuning in anyway peace I'm out <laughs>